Let's talk about posing in ZBrush with multiple subtools. So I'm going to go up here to Lightbox. And in Lightbox, I'm going to go to the Demo Soldier. And the reason that I'm picking him is because he has multiple subtools. Okay. I can see if I go over here in, in the tool, I can see that, you know, a vest and all that stuff. So the problem comes in is that if you pose this guy, then how are the subtools going to move? Okay. And there's different ways to pose, but what I'm going to show is with the Z-Sphere rigging. So um, let's go ahead and kind of talk about that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this divider to open this up. If I have anything over here, I'm just going to minimize it by clicking on the title. There we go. And then I'm going to go to Z plugin, grab this corner thing and drag it over. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to go to transpose master and I'm going to say um, Z sphere rig. And then I'm going to say uh, T pose mesh. And what that's going to do is going to create this all the kind of essentially be one tool. And I can see that because I clicked on Z sphere rig, it created a Z sphere in here. Okay. Now what I can do is if I press X, I have symmetry. Okay. And if I want to move it, I can come up here and I can like go to the middle and then just kind of move it up if I wanted to. Then I, if I want to draw, I can click on draw. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a skeleton inside of them. Okay. And that'll make more sense in a second. But anytime I want to add one of these, I just click draw. Anytime I want to move, rotate, or scale it, I, I use the move, rotate, or scale. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm just trying to get it into um, essentially the body of the character. And that's what I'm going to use for posing. And, and you'll notice that I went from the hips to the heel. And now if I want to add something, I can just click like on the knee. And now I added another one and then I can move it. Okay. And of course I would do the rest of the skeleton and I'll do that in a second, but I'm just going to show you what happens if I bind it now. So to bind this, if I close subtool and come down here to rigging, I have rigging available that's not normally there. It's because I'm in my Z tool. Okay. If I go to rigging and if I go to bind mesh, now if I rotate this, I can start to see that uh, it works. I can see the leg is working, but it, what was weird is that when I move this, the arms are moving. And the, and the reason that the arms are moving is because there's no Z spheres to kind of add influence there. So I'm going to uncheck bind mesh. And when I uncheck it, that means I can keep drawing. I can keep adding stuff. So I can go like this and I can keep adding. And then when I, when I think, okay, I've got enough, maybe then I can check it again by binding mesh. So I'm just going to go like this again, add some shoulders. And then again, I, I think it's just faster to go like down to the um, wrist like that and then add the elbow. Whoop. And by the way, if you have an extra one that you want to get rid of, you just go to draw and hit alt over it. Okay, excellent. Okay. Now, obviously, I still want to do the head and stuff, but let, let's see what this looks like. So if I go to bind mesh, now, again, if I rotate, you can see that I can rotate this without his arms being affected. Why? Because his arms have influence here. Notice that when I'm moving them now, I'm selecting um, between the circles, okay, to move. Um, so, and I can also see that when I move them, all of the sub tools are coming along for the ride. Okay. You'll notice that when I move like this, obviously his head gets screwed up. And obviously that's because there's not enough for it to go from. So I'm going to uncheck bind mesh, click on draw and just continue this process. Obviously no one's going to see these Z spheres, but I feel like I want to make sure that I have, um, kind of enough in there to kind of capture the influence of uh to be, or to basically say that the head you know is not going to be influenced by the arms etc okay now if i click bind mesh okay i can see how the the head is not influencing more 
Now you can see like these things here, okay? What I might do, I'm gonna uncheck bind mesh. What I might do is you can do things like this. If I go to draw, maybe I, I, I go like from here, whoa, let's see. See, I could turn on solo if I wanna see it a little bit easier. I go like that and I could uh, kind of give that a joint, if you will. Okay, so if I give that a joint, now, if again, if I go to bind mesh, I can see that it's, it's not being influenced by anything. I can see that this stuff's kind of being awkwardly influenced um, or his backpack's being awkwardly influenced. So again, what I could do is I could go like this, again, hit solo, and then I could maybe go to draw, maybe add one here, and then I could uh, maybe go like this and move, and I'm gonna kinda go to the corner of the backpack. So again, I feel like it starts, it makes sense to kinda start with joints that are logical for the character, but then I feel like if you have accessories or something like that, it's okay to have um, kind of these extra joints that will be, uh, we'll call them kind of stabilizing joints for your accessories. So I'm gonna go like that. Maybe, maybe even up like that. And then I could go Maybe to the corner here. There we go. And heck, maybe I connect this. Let's see, draw. And if it's moving too much, I could make my brush size smaller. There we go. Okay, so maybe kind of some stabilizing joints might look more like that. Um, Okay, let's see what that looks like. So if I go to bind mesh, now if I try to rotate his arm, you can you can kind of start to see how I've got some stuff. And again, maybe I want a stabilizing joint coming through here, but I feel like it's it's a lot better than it was, especially through here. Um, okay, cool. And and if you wanted to like turn the head or something, instead of um instead of going between them, you can click like, I mean, I can click like that, or I could click um, on the joint, uh, let's see. Yeah, I have to kind of play with that, but if, I feel like um, I can, I'm just testing to see, yeah, that, okay, so that that's great. So that moves real nice there. Um, there, I'm, I, I can grab that and I can kind of just grab the circle and I can kind of rotate it like that. So if you grab this, the Z-sphere, um, and that's what I was trying to do here, so let me see. So if I have trouble, I can X out. Oh, I see, I, I, I can't see it there. So a lot of times what I would want to do is make sure that you can see the Z-sphere so you don't cover it up. Um, when you create the next one, looks like I covered it up there and that's why I'm having kind of trouble grabbing that. But um, again, looking really good. So now what I could do is I could just kind of rotate this guy. And if I wanted to be asymmetrical, I'm gonna turn off X. Okay. And um, obviously I'd want a cooler pose than this, but I feel like enough to kind of get the idea. Um, okay. So let's say if I, I like it like that, now what I could do is I can go here. Notice on my sub tools, it's nothing here. So if I go to uh, pose sub T, now what it's gonna do is gonna pose him to that position, including all of his sub tools. Now you can see that if I strategized and had enough kind of supporting Z spheres to hold some stuff, that's great. But in areas like this, I may have to go in 
and model that. So I might have to go in with my move brush and my clay buildup and just kind of like re kind of sculpt things and help things out. I need, a, I may need to push down here or pull up a little bit. So you're going to need to do some kind of helping edits depending on your Z sphere rig. Um, and again, if, if the, some things kind of got screwed up, again, just go and take care of it. And it's kind of a balance of, hey, how many supporting joints can you put in versus how much cleanup are you willing to do at the end? So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if it was, go ahead and kind of leave a message below and also to like and subscribe for videos like this every week. All right, thanks a lot, guys.